All right, so in this video, we're gonna show you how you can create this inside Easy Cut Studio. Uh, basically, the, the bulge effect as well as the uh, shadow after you have completed the bulge. So let's go ahead and start fresh. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and place some text on here. And with that, I just typed in uh, flight line. And the next thing I did is I used my arrow up here and I'm just going to go ahead and stretch this out here. So one of the reasons why I like the font impact, it is nice and straight lines uh, when, it, when it comes to the text. Uh, after that, if we go up here to the effects menu, there's a bulge. And that's what I'm going to click here. Once I do, we are presented with a few options here. And you're going to notice here that the auto preview is check marked. I'm going to go ahead and click this right here. You can sort of see how it can bulge up and down. So I'm going to go ahead and change the bottom to this. Now if we if we take a look right here, it sort of looks a little skewed. And that's where the curve comes into play and how you can make it a nice smooth uh, canned curve here. So that's what I did there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. Now you can you can tweak this as much as you want. You can play with the top as well if that's what you want to do. Like I said, you may have to tweak the uh, the curve just so that it looks a little eye-pleasing. Then you can go ahead and click OK. And now we have our text like that. Now it's time to add the shadow. Well, we add the shadow by clicking on our text and we go up to the effects menu. And then we're gonna go ahead and click on the shadow layer contour cut. And here we can increase it as much as you want. And then you can click the okay. And that will give us what we need uh, in order to have the bulge effect along with the shadow background. So. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. This was all done inside of Easy Cut Studio.